Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at another example of how to solve a linear differential equation. So here we have a first order differential equation. We have a dependent variable y and an independent variable x. If you look at the rest of the equation, you have a mixture of dependent and independent variables, which means you cannot use direct integration. You have one, two, three terms, and you can't change it into two terms, so you cannot use the separable differential equation method. Then, if you check your dependent variable, you will see that it is in only one place and it is to the power of 1, which means that you have a linear differential equation. So if you want to solve a linear differential equation, there are three steps that you could use to go about that. So the first one is that we have to convert this differential equation into our standard form. And this is our standard form here. So it means that the first term has to be the derivative with nothing in front of it except the 1. And we've already got that, so we don't have to divide through by anything. dy dx. The next term you need to have is where the dependent is linear. So it means you want the term where y is to the power 1. So in this case, it's going to be the y over x. And the q on the other side of the equation in this case is going to be minus 1. So that means that the p is going to be minus 1 over x. And our q is going to be minus 1. Please note here, the p includes the negative sign. Always do that. right? Don't ignore the negative sign because it affects your answer. Once we've done that, we now need to find the expression for our integrating factor. So our integrating factor is defined as e to the power, the integral of p dx, and that is going to be the integral of minus 1 over x dx, which is e to the minus ln x. That is the same as e to the ln x to the minus 1, which is the same as 1 over x. So all we've done is use the log laws in order to simplify the expression for f. Once we've got that, we substitute into y f equals the integral of f q dx. And our y is going to be 1 over x. Sorry, our f is going to be 1 over x. Sorry about that. Then we have f, which is 1 over x. And q in this case is minus 1 dx. And now you can just integrate and solve. So that means that y times 1 over x is equal to the integral of minus 1 over x dx and y 1 over x is going to equal to minus ln x plus a constant value. And that would be the general solution of your differential equation. If you want to, you can make y the subject of the formula, but it really depends on what is asked of you and what you need that equation for. If you were given initial conditions, you could now substitute into the equation and find the value for C in order to find the particular solution. I hope that example was helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye.